Now, I think part of the reason people refuse to listen to wisdom is because they don't want to change, and they're happy where they are. For example, if you never heard of chocolate, and some guy comes to your community and starts telling you how wonderful chocolate is and how it melts in your mouth, and, and he invites you to come eat some, but you're headed home to eat your favorite meal, you're going to go home instead of trying the chocolate, most likely. Well, you know, I'm sure there'd probably be some that were curious enough, maybe they would give up their favorite meal just to go see what this was about. But like I said, I think most people probably would say, well, I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's any good. I don't know who this person is. I'm just going to go with a familiar and I'm going to go home and enjoy my favorite meal. Well, since they don't know what they're missing, again, it's really not that big a deal to them to miss out on the chocolate. Well, this was the same problem the Jews had in the first century. Even though they were looking for a Messiah, they were comfortable with the law of Moses and how they've done things all their lives, just as these previous generations had done. When Jesus came along, he didn't fit their idea of a Messiah, and then he was put to death. And since they were looking for a physical kingdom like it was under Solomon, many of them had no interest in looking into Jesus and this new covenant. Now, we are creatures of habit, and we like routine. 